hope you can see why you need a lawyer for this. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. We're gonna start with terms of condition. I'm gonna explain to you how it works. So you have an idea what it is. These are the questions we're gonna to answer today. If you, got, uh, if you talk about terms of a condition. You see it different here. I have here toss and here terms of condition. The thing is, term of condition, most of the time it goes by many names. You can call it terms of services, terms, term of condition, doesn't matter. As long as it meets the requirements, so as long as it meets requirements of terms of condition, then those things are terms of condition. Every country has different kind of requirements for terms of condition. What is the terms of condition? I will explain that, but what you need to keep in mind is every country has their own rules about contract law. And now I'm going to explain to you what terms of condition is. The thing is when you have a term of condition, technically you have a contract if everything went well. If not, you think about what's the benefits of terms of condition. Let me explain what I mean by that. So here, let's say we have you. So this is you. And you're going to buy something on my website. So my website, you. So you see an offer. Let's say you're buying certain kind of services or you're buying toy or you're buying something for your family. It doesn't matter what it is. So here it doesn't matter what it is. Product or services doesn't matter. But you see a price here. P is for price, is product or services. Uh -huh. And you see what it is. It can be a service, but it can also be a product. Doesn't matter. You'll buy it. So technically you will see a confirmation that you bought the product. And then when you're going to pay for it, when you place the order and then you're gonna pay for it, pay for it you see the terms of a website. So let's say I have terms. During the process when you're going to pay, they're going to be like, you will see a text. When you place this order, when you accept this order, you will also accept the terms of condition or the privacy policy. That means as soon as you accept the terms, that means this whole thing here is going to be a contract between you and me. It's that simple. So if you look at here, this will be the contract. These are the terms. And here you see the price and the product. What most people will forget or what they do wrong is they think they need to put the price here in the terms. But it doesn't work like that. The reason why is the price and the product, those things are the key, the core of why you ha guys have an agreement. And you cannot put that in a general terms of agreement, terms of condition. You cannot put that. It doesn't work like that. And why you cannot put that? Because it's a general, it's not specific. If someone provides you a specific product or specific services, you have to put it in the offer. Otherwise, it's better for you and me. So we have again, you and me to have a contract. So he doesn't buy it on the website. He just come to me, he buy, he buy it for me and he signed a contract. In a contract, you'll find the rules about using the product or other stuff. And these two things are the same. The reason why you make terms, that's why you do not put price and product in it. The reason why you make terms is because you don't want to make a contract with everyone. Imagine you have a company and you have five clients. Those five clients are paying you, let's say, ten thousand per month. It's a lot of money. You don't need to have a terms of condition for that. You can make, you can use contract, specific contract, contract templates, templates for those kind of customer. In that case, it's better to use contract because you are dealing with specific clients, so you know what you need and what you do not need. But imagine you have two hundred clients, and they are all buying things for you. It's better to have terms. Because it's difficult to make 200 contracts for everyone. It's also difficult to manage those contracts. You understand what I mean? So, when you look at this situation, 
the goal of the terms is to make sure that people understand your rules but it's also to make sure that you can still keep using it and at the end of the day it will be the same as contract but in some law there are specific rules about terms of condition what you can put in it and what not the reason why they are doing that is they want to protect consumer and if you're a company and you put certain kind of things in your terms of condition sometimes it's not allowed you need to watch out for that that's why most of the time when you create terms of condition it's better to hire a lawyer i hope you can see why you need a lawyer for this okay hopefully you understand this whole picture what are terms of condition these are rules rules that you make and just remember rules general rules of your company of of your services product or services and when people up accept your offer in the office you need to say when you accept this offer you also accept my terms of condition hopefully you understand that second question what is usually included in terms of condition can be anything seriously can be anything the reason why i'm saying that is because when you look at terms of condition and you can put a lot of things in it it depends where you are what service you're providing uh, who you are what kind of company you are sometimes people don't even have that they use contracts so you do not need any terms of condition so what do you usually put in it liability how they use the product how they can get the money back if the product is broken what can they do how they can contact you all those things you can put in the terms of condition you can even put hey if you're planning to go to the judge you agree that we first solve this by mediation of or whatever all those things you can put into it so what is usually included in the terms of condition a lot of things but it all depends on what is best for your company and what's best for your consumer and just remember try not to put things into it that's against the law or whatever because the reason why i'm saying this is the following when you put things that are against the law that means that one article in the terms of condition is not valid and sometimes the consequence of that is that the terms of condition cannot be valid in some situation yeah so if one is not valid in some situation it can cause the fact that the whole terms of condition is not valid the problem with that is is then when you have an agreement with someone only this is the agreement and you don't want that because most of the time in the terms of condition you want to protect your company you want to protect yourself and if it's not valid you have a problem because then you only have this and then you need to look at the local law so try to put things in the terms of condition that can help you but just keep in mind keep the law in mind i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe know what i want so i'll take it on I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me, lamin', I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great.